is the new China now when it comes to sovereign wealth funds and that is out of focus this hour as funds have been pouring into the country with rising stakes in everything from renewable energy to airports. Prime Minister Narendra Modi's election last month is now likely to bring in more foreign investment. This is some big news for India as the country has become an attractive ground due to political stability, a growing middle class and reforms. Wealth and state pension funds are expanding their horizon to private markets to complement an existing focus on stocks and bonds. Foreign institutional investor flows into Indian equities are $11 billion, setting 2019 on course for the highest annual inflows since 2012. The rapid rise of the educated Indian middle class also plays a huge role, offering opportunities for long-term capital. With China now engaged in a trade war with the U.S., sovereign funds have now shifted attention to India. Private equity deal activity in India surged to $19 billion in 2018, the highest in a decade. Singapore's GIC Sovereign Wealth Fund and the Abu Dhabi Investment Authority have been a part of the recent investments investing in renewable energy. India is also widening its use of solar and wind energy to help reduce its reliance on fossil fuels, making it a good investment ground for renewable energy. Infrastructure is also a huge part of these investment funds. While the current regulatory reforms are strengthening sentiment and drawing in more wealth funds, a reform push could be necessary for India's growing economy. And now let's shift focus over to the United States, which has taken yet another sweeping effort in its fight against illegal immigration. The U.S. authorities plan to deport illegal immigrant families from Sunday, which is tomorrow. They will specifically target the recently arrived families in the United States. According to the Washington Post, the operation is expected to target over 2,000 families. The chief of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement confirmed that they will target families that have received a removal order from a U.S. immigration court. The U.S. cities expected to hit by this wave of immigration raid have refused to cooperate with the U.S. government authorities. Police departments of Chicago and Los Angeles have terminated the Immigration and Customs Enforcement's access to the cities. The official Twitter account of the Los Angeles Police Department has said, and I quote, The department has reached out to various community stakeholders regarding the reported ICE enforcement actions, reiterating that members of this department will not be participating. We are committed to protecting the public through meaningful relationship building and community partnerships. The number of migrants that were arrested while crossing the U.S.-Mexico border surged in May to the highest level since 2006. It has been reported that many of the families are fleeing from violence and poverty in Central America.